गुड इवनिंग यू वॉचिंग हेडलाइंस विद मी एम दिपावली हाजरा दिल्ली पुलिस हैज फाइनली आइडेंटिफाइड नाइन अटैकर्स इन द जवाहरलाल नेहरू यूनिवर्सिटी वायलेंस केस पुलिस ऑल्सो क्लेम दैट क्लैशेज फर्स्ट ब्रोक आउट वैन लेफ्ट विंग स्टूडेंट्स क्लैश विद गार्ड्स एंड अटैक द पेरियार हॉस्टल द पुलिस ऑल्सो क्लेम जे एन यू स्टूडेंट्स यूनियन प्रेजिडेंट आईशी घोष लेट द मॉब ऑल टू द कैंपस पुलिस से दैट दे कुडेंट एक्सेस सी सी टी वी फुटेज एज द सर्वर रूम वॉज डैमेज्ड JNU Students Union President Aishi Ghosh dismissed the Delhi Police's version of events in JNU campus on January the 5th. She said she wasn't the one in a mask. She was affected by the violence. She also defended her office bearers saying none of them had done any wrong. JNU Vice Chancellor Jagdish Kumar claimed that the administration was very flexible and had created a conducive atmosphere for students to return to the university. He also added that students would no longer have to pay service and utility charges only a room rent of rupees 300 would be charged from them. Union Minister Prakash Javdekar said that it was a malafide campaign to defame the ABVP the BJP student wing and accused them of violence in JNU on January the 5th. He said the Delhi police had cleared the picture showing that the left perpetrated the violence. Taking barbs at Deepika Padukone even lower leader of opposition in Madhya Pradesh Gopal Bhargav said the actress should have stayed in Mumbai and danced instead of visiting JNU Union Minister Smriti Irani also took a shot at Deepika and said the actress had made her political affiliation known in 2011 and that she knew she stood with people who wanted India destroyed The enforcement directed attached former ICICI bank CEO Chanda Kochar's properties that included her Mumbai home. The ED seized the properties as part of its investigation into an alleged money laundering case against her. Properties belonging to a company owned by Chanda's husband Deepak Kochar have also been attached. Aam Aadmi Party protested outside Punjab Chief Minister Amarinder Singh's home in Punjab's Chandigarh. They were dispersed by cops using water cannons. The Aam Aadmi Party was protesting against the high electricity rates in the state of Punjab. Today the Apex Court ordered the Jammu and Kashmir administration to forthwith review any restrictive orders that were curbing the basic rights of the people in Jammu and Kashmir. The court said the right to internet is also a part of freedom of speech and expression. The court also said all restrictive orders are to be made public so that they can be challenged legally. The Vietnamese ambassador who was part of a delegation on a Jammu and Kashmir visit to review the ground situation there said that the he saw normalcy returning to the lives of the people over there. He said seeing is believing and it was a worthwhile trip as he and other envoys had an opportunity to assess the ground situation. Media reports quoting Indian army sources say that the Pakistan army carried out attack on five unarmed civilians who crossed over the fencing on the line of control in Poonch sector but were within Indian territory. Two civilians including Mohammad Aslam and Altaf Hussain were killed in the attack while two others are seriously injured. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.